busy all morning. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Doggoland, it's 11.02 a.m. on Monday, June 26, 2023. Now for today's announcement. Starting today, Doggoland has its very own campsite. The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of its residents. I can't think of anything more fitting for Doggoland. I'm sure we'll get plenty of visitors, so take a moment to wander over and spread that island charm. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. I'm doing good, Panda. Yeah, like I said, I was rushing around, so Monday is our grocery days. So I went to the grocery store, got that all taken care of. I still have to go to Costco and get gas. My phone is ringing. Hello, Liz? This is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd love to introduce you to. Sorry to barge in on your day, but would you please come to the airport so you can meet her? Oh, I know. I know what this is. Okay. Ah, Liz, you're here. Lottie, allow me to introduce you to Liz. Oh, hello, I'm Lottie. I used to work for Mr. Nook a long time ago, before this big island venture he started. Yes, yes, she's quite talented. Lottie can handle anything from interior design to building layouts. And now she runs her very own vacation home company. Well, I did have a very good teacher. It's really coming along, though. We just got our new office set up, and so we're finally ready to start taking orders for custom vacation homes. Right now, we need another team member, a go-getter with vision and insight into our clients' needs. When I told Mr. Nook what I was looking for, he said he knew exactly who to ask, and here we are. In other words, she needs your help, Liz. When she came to me, you were the first one I thought of. After all, you've done such a lovely job with your own home, surely you could do the same for others. I'll leave it to you and Lottie, of course, but my instincts have rarely steered me wrong. Yes, yes. Mr. Nook is quite a is quite a reference. If you want to join us, I won't say no. We're close by, so your commute would be a breeze, and I offer a competitive salary. What do you think? Are you interested, Liz? I'll do it. So how are you, Panda? What are you up to today? Fantastic. That's wonderful. I'll need to get a few things ready before you join our team, so I'll go on ahead. I'll see you there. You guys need to chill. And not take my headset. You certainly made her day. Hmm? This airport has a flight standing by for whenever you're ready to meet up with Lottie. Nice. Oh, well, sounds like a good time. Well then, I'll leave you be. Take care, Liz. Dream house. Woo! Mabel's here again? Jeez. That's three days in a row. That's unusual. Good morning, Liz. Thanks for stopping by. How can I help you today? Oh, it's on sale. Here's what I'm selling today. Lovely. Oh my god, we can wear a duck beak. <laughs> Hi, Bastion. How's it going? Bera. Ever hear a story so creepy that you get a cold chill right down your bones? Nuh-uh. One of my favorite reactions is perfect for that. Watch. 
So, all right, speaking of bones, did you know that we settled on top of an ancient burial ground? That's right. There's dinosaur bones all over the place if you know where to look, which means dino ghosts. How are you doing, Bastion? What are you up to today? I learned the cold chill reaction. Let's see if Bill's in his house so Panda can finally see Bill's house. How boring it is, and this is and it being why I don't want to keep. Hi, Bean Boy. How are you doing? What you up to today? Look at all these quackas. So yeah, this is what I mean. Like, look how boring their house is. Like, it's not even. It's bare, bare, basic bones. Like, this is why I don't get attached. I don't like getting attached to the villagers that come first thing on the island because their houses just suck. I'm doing alright. I've been busy running around all morning because I wanted to get some of the grocery shopping done uh, today. Alright, well I have to get grocery shopping done today so I did some beforehand and then I just have gas and Costco left. So a little bit more running around after, and if the weather continues to hold, I'll probably also mow the lawn. Alright, and we got our attic. I really need to get to work on decorating the house, but for now, other things are more precedent. What's it? Anything I need it now, guys. Can you not be so extra all the time? No. Okay. Dodo Airlines. Hi, Liz. Just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoyed this bit of custom DAL merch. Nifty, right? Your pals at Dodo Airlines. I like the dodos. Honestly, they're they're fun. Eunice, well done, Liz. They say it takes hands to build a house, but only hearts can make it a home. You have a good heart, and you deserve to have a happy and spacious home. Hope this gift can have a place in it somewhere. Hope to visit soon, Eunice. Happy Home Academy! Congratulations to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept this gift. It's fun to create a space based on your hobbies where you're surrounded by things you love. I wish my dogs would just stop being extra for like five minutes. Like usually they're sleeping at this time. Alright, so this is from Dal. Okay, so that's their shirt. I'll wear their shirt. There we go. Look at me looking like a dodo. An amp? from you no yeah from Eunice and then happy home a rocket guitar wow that's ironic all right let me go put that stuff in storage all right a lot to do today place in storage put in storage put in storage I wonder Oh, nice. Go get Stitch. Well, hello there, Liz. Your home has two beautiful stories now. Hmm? I hope you take the opportunity to experiment with some new styles of interior design. Which brings us to the cost of your model. That will be 1,248,000 bells. Hmm? Ah, yes. Please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature as you're done before. 
One other thing I should mention. As part of our home customization service, you can now order full house designs and replacement siding. Making major changes to your design of your home is one of the best ways to make it feel brand new again. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Alright, let's go make a payment so we can get another... So we can get the last room. Woohoo, 300. Let's see, what do they got for Nook Miles today? Bell voucher, I don't need that. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Siri's so rude. Pro decorating license. Okay. Redeem. Okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I got my pro decorating license now. I can use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. Oh, that's awesome. I wish it wouldn't like exit you out. It's like I'm not done shopping, guys. Pip reaction collector. Order has been printed. Huh? Okay. I see this totally makes sense. Whoa, I learned some new reactions. I can press ZR to choose to see them all and choose. Welcome to Nook Set Multimedia. Nook Shopping. I do have to log on to DDV. I haven't um I haven't checked DDV at all today. Fencing because we're getting fence recipe. Redeem. I need to do better about checking in to make sure I don't miss any awesome items from Scrooge because I I haven't been getting on the second floor of his shop the past few days. It's all been um, either repeats or it's like the generic couches in a different color. And it's like, can I can I get something different, please? Please, sir. I would like to have some more. I like to make another a selection. Yeah. Let's spend all my points. Look at that, guys. We're broke again. Woohoo! Order has been printed. Huh, okay. I see this totally makes sense. I learned some new hairstyles. I bet I could change up my look even more with a vanity or mirror. Nook shopping. Special goods. An outdoor table. Radio. Outdoor hat. Glasses. Tea. Tube ball. Chino pants. Flip flops. Oh no, did I just see the do went live early? Uh, ABD. Loan payment. Hey, from savings. Oh boy. Oh well. I finished paying off my home loan. Welcome. Do -do -do. Uh, ABD. Okay, deposit. We'll do. 
There we go. Nice. Five million four fifty. Thank you for your patronage. I swear I'll never be able to pick a time that works around his schedule. <laughs> Well, hello there, Liz. Please allow me to offer my most enthusiastic congratulations. From one entrepreneur to another, you certainly seem to have a knack for managing your bells. Yes, yes. No, I just have friends in high places. <laughs> Indeed, think of how far you've come to own a two-story home. Remarkable. Now, surely you have no need for additional space, and yet... Where would we be if we never shot for the moon? Certainly not living on this island paradise. So, with no agenda of producing additional business, I tell you that I can build you a basement. Do with that information what you will, and once again, congratulations. Uh -huh. Now, can I help you about my home? Time to talk about your home. Hmm? What shall we discuss? I want to expand. Yeah, let's have that basement. Now, you weathered some serious sticker shock before, so I'm sure you can handle it, but this will be spendy. All told, we'll be looking at a grand total of... Oh, hi, uh, Nader Baman. Thank you for the follow. How are you today? Uh, it'll be 2,498,000 bells. Are you still interested? And let's do it. Okay, I'll, I'll try to remember Nate. Yeah, I'm doing good. I've uh, been busy this morning, finally getting to sit down and play some Animal Crossing, so I can't complain too much. Glad to see you're doing good, and welcome to the community. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning, so exciting, exciting indeed. Oh, we should go and build another bridge. Let's talk infrastructure. Alright, chat. There's a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? Bridges and inclines. Um, so I'm still an early game, so I'm still try. I have a lot of catch up to do before I have um, casual time. But definitely, I do plan on visiting other people's islands um, once I get a little bit further along in the game. Let's build a bridge. Oh, you like a new bridge? Hmm? Ah, yes. Bridges are a cool way to connect land and separate by rivers. Go ahead and pick up one from our catalog. Okay, we'll go with another suspension bridge. A suspension bridge? And you're sure about this? You want to proceed with the bridge? Yes, please. So in that case, uh, set a lot of location. You should get near a river and you'll be able to imagine how a bridge will look. Welcome to Nookstop uh, Multimedia Terminal from Nook. Please select the following services. Oh, so something I wanted to uh, mention to everyone. So I heard an interesting radio uh, topic today and I'm curious to see what other people's thoughts are. So, it's what motto do you try to live by? So, I'm curious, what motto do you guys try to live by? Um, I'm trying very hard to live by the motto, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, I'm trying to take more of those shots, more of those chances, and stop talking myself out of it. to hold too. Let's hold a ceremony. But yeah, like a year ago today I was working a job I wasn't happy in. I was working with people I wasn't happy to work with, and now I have a small Etsy shop that I need to put some more time into, <laughs> and I have this lovely stream, and uh, I can't imagine that this is where I would be. That's a 
an interesting one, Panda. Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw the was a the who saw to it that we could build a campsite. Let's give a warm doggle in. Welcome to Liz. Anything to add? Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments, Sarah Liz. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the camera button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and, our, and to celebrate Doggoland's beautiful campsite, hooray! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Uh, please do take care on your way home. I noticed this time Bill wasn't hiding behind my face cam. <laughs> Alright, and then we got one more thing to celebrate. And then we can get on with the game. <laughs> Ah, Liz, hello, hello. Our campsite is impressive. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay there. It won't be much long until we get, start getting some guests. When we have a guest, a tent will go up at the campsite, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Even though we weren't able to officially start business at the campsite yet, what we need is visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of our island. I'd appreciate anything you could do to help improve the island. Yes, yes, do some weeding, plant some flowers, place some outdoor decorations. What about the other island? Why can't they help with this? <laughs> Let's hold a ceremony. Right now, the completion of the bridge. Let's do it. I kind of wish we didn't do like celebrations for like every bridge and in incline. <laughs> but I also can't just let it stand there, you know. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Doggo Land's brand new bridge. Thank you! Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Doggo Land is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do hope we can continue making great strides to improve the quality of life in this precious community. Hi, Sarah! I'm doing good! How are you? Naturally, I'm talking about our very own Liz. Anything to add? Good for us. Yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Liz. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Oh, that sounds fun. Poor Eunice and she know all the way in the back there. <laughs> Oh, because Tom Nook doesn't want to be overshadowed. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Okay. So let's go place this bridge and pay it off. Gotta be careful by going around the tree stumps and everything, just in case there are bugs on them. I do need a few of the bugs. Uh oh. Oh, that's right, I picked that up from the Miles. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe. DIY recipe. Build here. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to build a bridge here like I wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's gonna have to wait till I can tear more, unfortunately. The humbug. Okay, let's see.
Lots of tree stumps, but no bugs on them. Hmm. Look at our orchard. It's coming in so nice, guys. Ugh. I don't know why the money trees keep trying to come up here. This is the second money tree I've had in this area. Mary in the hole. I moved the other one. I could probably move that one at some point. But not right now. Uh, so... Let us go up here and we'll put the bridge up here. And I guess after that we'll start working on ink lines. This is the spot. Sure, I will help. I'll put in as much as possible. Donate away. Reach our donation goal. I feel like. Oh, so that's the bird cage, and then. Okay. Us and grab us a fossil. Look, I dug up a fossil. Doesn't look like Reds is here today. It's, oh, did not mean to do that. It is too early in the day for the char that I'm looking for because that's at 4 p.m. Cut the paper kite, right? Okay, yep, I already got that. That's what I thought. But what about everyone else? What motto do you live by? Or try to live by, anyways? I definitely still need fish in the pond that are all day fish. <laughs> Trust no one yet. Pretty accurate. Hopefully you have at least one person you can trust. Like I know no matter what my husband will always have my back. Even if it's just to tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> Yay, another carp. We oh, hold on, I haven't even gone to the store yet. And I've got to still collect all my fossils. 
Okay, let's go to the store. I think I have three more fossils I need to get. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. What is that? I not the tea, not the kettle. What is this? An outdoor generator. Oh, we don't need that. And this is a uh, height measure. No, I don't need that. There's Panda's favorite duck who calls this wacko, wacko and noodle arms. Ha ha. Maybe you're not great at everything. Did you ever think of that, Bill? Panda's like, treat others how you want to be treated, and I start making fun of the duck. <laughs> No. I see what you're saying, Panda, but how about no? <laughs> and besides, once I uh, get more villagers, I can make Bill leave and I can give him a vacation home. It'll be fine. Well, I have to make him a vacation home and then I can make him leave. I don't have a five times reward today. So rude. Like Bill. Oh, oh. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Yes, I caught a violin beetle. Apparently, I'm fit as a fiddle. Oh, perfect. The violin veto, this is going to be the last month for it. So I still need the peacock butterfly, which I need hybrid flowers for. So it looks like I just need one from each category. I need one bug, one deep sea creature, and one fish before they leave for the end of June. Oh, and there's a fossil spot. Look, I dug up a fossil. I definitely... I wish iron just fell out of the sky in Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> I know I can't be the only one that wishes that. Oh, found the money rock. Oh, and I got it all today, too. Look at us go. We put the correct amount of money in the money tree. Got all this money. We're doing 
doing pretty good. Butter me up, I'm on a roll. Nothing over there except for the money hole, which we already did. So I want to say what? One, two. Okay, so yeah, there's still two more fossils that are out. Oh, I just saw one by uh, Nate's house. Oh, we got a DIY bottle. Let's take a look. So there are huge um, fish that I need at the pier. Uh, they only appear at the pier. Oh yeah, but I want to use it to like build things and stuff. I forgot to read that letter. <laughs> Whoops. Huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for bamboo flooring. Yeah, so I have a lot of stuff I just want to build that requires iron because I'm trying to craft everything. Which is so expensive. Oh, that's another violin beetle, right? Yeah. You can go away. I don't need you. Hi, Nate. Hi, Shadow. How are you? How are you? How's it going? What you up to? Leave our six followers away from hitting 50. I'm so excited. Just need to find that one last follow. Oh no, Shadow! Wah wah! Oh, so earlier, Shadow, we were talking about mottos, that, mottos to live by. So, for example, I'm trying to live by the motto, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. What about you? Do you have any mottos? Oh, not your fireballs! I didn't know there was a limit as to like how many you could use. Wait, why am I gonna do that? I can just walk a few steps to go over the bridge instead. Go get our fossils assessed and donated. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You have to resub. Here. I'll put some fireballs in chat for you, Shadow. <laughs> Assess fossils. See, we got you back. No, I was. I don't know about Panda, but I did it for you since you couldn't do it. Those are your fireballs, not mine. Hooray, hooray! I found something that's not yet part of our esteemed collection. I have to say, have you guys ever heard the people that um, can imitate the sounds of Animal Crossing villagers and NPCs? It's it's very weird, like seeing a human make these sounds. What is this? Okay. 
Ooh, several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. I'm fine. So, I probably... I actually just got the Happy Home Academy, so we'll probably go do that soon for the first time. That's unlocked. Um, what else was there that needs to get worked on? I also need to work on the Critopedia. We got the campsite up, so if I recall correctly, uh, tomorrow we will get our first visitor in the campsite. And we'll get to build our last... I don't know if it's three or four houses. We'll get to build the last of those plots. Alright, bye Panda. Have a good one. Uh, we'll get to build the last of our plots for that tomorrow, I believe. And then we can start hunting down new villagers. Pro decorating license. Time to learn about accent walls and hanging items from the ceiling. Uh, you can hang a different type of wallpaper on the walls in a room to create an accent wall. While in decorating mode, use the arrow key to select the wallpaper. Press X to set up the accent wall. Hanging items from the ceiling. You can hang lighting fixtures and other items from the room ceiling. Uh, while in decorating mode, use the plus button to swap modes so you can edit ceiling fixtures. So let's put in storage, put in storage, put in storage. I'm also probably going to, we'll see how long the Happy Home Academy stuff takes. Because if I still have some time before stream ends, I will probably um, start making some fish bait. Because I need huge fish for the, I need huge fish off the pier specifically in order to um two of them I think right and they're only specifically on the pier <laughs> um, I need to go to the store to sell these last couple items At least my dog's finally passed out. And it's funny, they all passed around, around the dog bed, but nobody's on the dog bed. And I don't know where Quinn is. She must be in the other room having laid the couch to herself, probably. Quinn is so much like me. She loves laying on piles of pillows and blankets and living the best life. She's living the life that I wish I could have. Orville. Don't you like my shirt, Orville? The president told me you're working with Miss Lottie's place. Liz, exciting! Whenever you need to hear, head over there, tell me I want to go to work. So, Liz, you want to? You've got anything to tell me? I want to go to work. Time for takeoff. So, I like the idea of the vacation, uh, the vacation homes. It's kind of funny because they're called the Happy Home Academy and everything is supposed to be like a vacation home, but you end up building like a school there and a restaurant. <laughs> Raid an island. Terrorize people. 
Ouais. By the by, Plane Liz, is this your first time flying these particular skies? There's a bunch of little islands scattered around out here. Real pretty tropical fruit for your eyes. I wish you I wish they would show us. Also the regular kind of tropical fruit. Yep, I could see a bird landing one of those islands and deciding to just stay ground for a while. Not me though. Well, sorry there. Just realized you're heading into work, aren't you, Liz? Well, uh, in that case, take a look at the monitor in front of your seat and take it easy while you can. to the scattered islands with the pretty views that I got that you were talking about. Okay. Someone wants to live that deserted island life. Okay, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's your house? Happy home paradise. This is your captain. We're almost to our destination, so prepare for a landing. Return to your seat to the upright position and make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. For a standard operating procedure for a seaplane, I didn't get to read all that. <laughs> Nico, hi, welcome. You must be the newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? That's right. Well, I'm glad the island sent you to me. I'm Nico. I work with Lottie. Everyone is so ready for you. The office isn't that far from this pier, so let's get going. Huh. Look at all the birds I get to scare off. Ah, welcome. I've been waiting for you, Liz. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. I think Nico has already introduced himself, but I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Everyone, this is Liz, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here, Liz. What do you mean by a random island? Like, randomly appear, or... Will you help Liz out? You'll help Liz out, won't you? I'd sure be grateful. Of course, great to have you on the team. Just remember, I'm your guy if there's anything you need. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's a vacation island. So this is the DLC you could purchase um, for Animal Crossing. Yep, our Nico is the expert when it comes to all things local. He can take you straight to any island you need. Aw, you're too kind. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction, so ask me anything. Next up is Wardell. Oh, did they get unplugged? Oh, one of the dogs unplugged my thing. <laughs> He's in charge of managing furniture, procurement, and other related matters. We also sell furniture and souvenirs here in the office, so he's in charge of that part of the business as well. Staff can make purchases too, so check out your products later. You might find something interesting. Hello. Okay, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team. Yeah, go team. 
Yeah, Zoe, that's on the ground because you keep ripping out the stuff. It's our policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the locker upstairs next to the mirror. You can use whatever you like in the staff room, including that mirror and the cabinet upstairs as well. Alright, just call me when you're finished changing. Let's see. Ooh. Lottie's waiting for me off shop. Oh. Bahumba. Oh, I can buy a bottle of soda here. Already more interesting things than uh, Tommy and Nook have sold me. <laughs> okay. Should I change my look with this length? Me? Yeah. Let's go hairstyles because I got new hairstyles since we last looked at this set. Wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. This is the hairstyle I always use. And then, I didn't remember choosing such a lighter hair color. There we go. That's more my hair color. Now, I'm feeling like me. Didn't she say... Oh, wait. The cabinet. This one? It looks like I can store things in this cabinet. You can use this cabinet to access your home storage. Oh, nice. Alright, what should I do? Never mind. There are nameplate for Lottie, Neagle, and Wardo. Oh, did I just not? Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is my locker. It looks like my work uniform is here. You can use this locker to make your uh to make changes to your work outfit. Oh wow, got a lot of work outfits. Interesting. Do I want the dress? And then oh there we go yeah we'll put on the hat put on a mustache hmm. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a very fancy stash I'm assuming this is what I'm currently wearing. Oh no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> no, those aren't fitting the vibe. Oh, is that a sloth backpack? Okay, hold on. Let me fix my shoes. I suppose I can wear those. I don't see the ones that I was wearing originally. Oh, nope, those are just bare feet now. Okay, so yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, here we go. Tool bag. Mm -hmm. Or we could do that. No, that doesn't quite match the brown that I'm currently wearing. Okay, yeah. Let's go with... Or do we want to do a white bag? To kind of go with... I don't like the... Mm. Okay, it's in the same spot, so... Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Look at us, we look so cute. Oh, you look so official, and the fit is just right. Fantastic. Well, now that you look all decked out in the official garb, let me just say welcome to Paradise Planning. Yeah, this is where Bill's gonna go. Our goal is to help our clients live out their dreams in vacation homes of their very own. So, we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that promise. I just know you'll be great at it, Liz. Now, I think that it's best to learn on the job, so I'd like you to get started right away. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Not to worry, however, Nico will be joining you for your client consults. You got it, Lottie. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be right with you the whole time. You can even call me boss. I mean, if you want, boss. <laughs> Alright, now all we need to do is find some clients. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome! Eloise. Well, isn't this a darling little office? I've heard this is a place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? Indeed! We are taking orders! If you could join me over here... Actually, today just so happens to be the first day we are taking orders for our vacation homes. Well, what splendid timing. Now then, I've been a visitor here many times, and this island always helps me feel relaxed. I suppose the atmosphere just suits me. Do you know what I mean? In any case, I think it would be quite marvelous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea about how to make such a thing happen, too. That's what we're here for. No worries at all. We'll do our best to make your dreams come true. Just tell us your hopes and dreams to Liz and we'll get started right away. Come on, let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. Now we can meet like professionals. Ah, the breeze is delightful here. What a wonderful spot to conduct business, too. I hope it doesn't rain. Excuse me. So let's get to it. Shall I go ahead and describe my vision? Yes, tell us about it. Paint us a picture. Do you have any thoughts on how you'd like to spend your time at your vacation home? I can think of nothing else, and I'm very particular. I have some furniture I'd like to use no matter what. You see, my ideal place is like... My relaxing reading room. Okay, so she wants a relaxing reading room. Relaxing reading room? Yes, that's a wonderful theme. Our client has a dream, Liz. A uh, dream. Please fulfill that dream, Liz. As for the location... Well, I have my eye on a particular small island near here. It's the one that looks like this. Oh, yes, that island. Well then, you'll need to head to that site to complete the next step of the process. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you by boat. Once you're on location, you can get to work right away. I can't wait to see how it all works out. And here we are. Watch your step. So this is going to be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go see what it's like? Uh, what the inside's like? You bet. Come on, let's go. Oh my! What could be in these packages? I promise I haven't done any online shopping yet. No one's concerned that you're the only human in the world. I know, right? <laughs> And somebody did make a mention that I have hands instead of paws or claws. Well, talk about service. I only just made that request and my order is already here, too. Now, we've got some prep to do first, so I'll need you to hang out for just a minute or two. Okay, newbie, this is it. The show, the real deal, the big time. Obviously, the stuff the client shows up ahead of time. Take it out of the box with A, and then it's your job to arrange it and, you know, make it look nice. But before we get to work, let's just real quick go over how it works. First, up, go to decorate mode by passing the down. Okay. You can check the furniture available by passing that. Designing until the design is done, then report to the client, and the job is finished. Does that cover it? Yeah, I think that covers it. Okay, Eloise, we're all set up, so it's time to get to work. Wonderful, thank you so much. I'm so excited to see the finished product, Liz. I'll be around, so let me know if you run into any trouble. Now show us what you got. Alright. Let's see... Furniture selection tips. While working on your designs, you will be using the furniture procured by Paradise Planning. You can see what furniture items the client requested under the order menu. Make sure to use those in your design. You'll also find other items under that, which are likely to fit their requested concept. When in doubt, look at these for inspiration. Okay, so uh, I think probably two more of those. And we'll do... 
Nice reading wall. She needs a bed, she needs a bookshelf, needs a wardrobe. Okay. So let's. Put the bed here. We'll put the bookshelf here. Uh, I'm gonna need you to move, honey. Wait, wait, just look at you. Pick them up and they squirm. Wait. Who thought that was a good idea to include that? And then, hmm. Where do I want the wardrobe? Oh, whoops. Not what I meant to press. Shadow over here trying to ask the big questions, and we're all like, nope, they, none of this exists. It's all in your imagination. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. I do wish you could kitty corner things, because it'd be a nice, like, a little kitty corner with a chair. Put that by there so you can get some nice fresh light. We'll put the stack of books over here because we don't want those to get damaged by the sunlight. It's all a dream. I mean, that is a very common plot twist, so... Here, we'll put in a nice retro stereo. I don't like. We'll give you some plants. Wall stuff. Ooh. Ow. Um, put that there for now. We'll do a frame frame photo of herself. Something like this, I think. That'll look nice. That's fitting, I think. I'm not gonna give her clothes or anything. Everybody needs a cake ice slider album. Oh, I don't want that on the ground though. Here we go. Do that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we want to definitely include a bit of elegance. Can we put the? Can that? Awesome. That can sit right there. Why is her bed so tiny, but the shelf so tall? Like, <laughs> interesting. Okay, we'll put one plant over here. I think we'll move it over a little once I get. Yeah. And then we can put that. Then put this plant over here. Honestly, I don't know where I want to put that lamp. I don't think she really needs the lamp, honestly. Oh, whoops! Uh, let me go grab the bed again. Uh, 
let's do an accent of green and then I don't want to do a green bed I'm gonna do a dark wood that for a second. Uh, I believe it was eggs to change the color. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's a bookshelf? Oh, I thought that was um, a nightstand. I wonder why it's massive. Okay. Uh, we're gonna actually... Okay. Um, let's go to this. And we'll edit that to a dark wood. Go for a nightstand. Yeah, see, this is what I thought I grabbed the first time. <laughs> there we go. And then switch this around. Perfect. And then we have our art pieces. Uh, maybe. Cross that to switch. Okay, there we go. So let's put this. That kind of gets hidden though. Okay. Hmm. Let's put this. Over the bed. We can put that. Mm. Guess I'll just have to live with it slightly hidden. I think overall, for a uh, first attempt, this is pretty nice. I wouldn't be mad about this room. Okay. It's ready! You did it! Thank you! KK Slider song. Oh, it's exactly how I imagined it. No, it's even better. Oh, I'm so glad I asked you to do this. Thank you so very much, Liz. It's marvelous. Now look at you. Your first job is a huge success. Cha-cha, my y'all. Cha-cha again. Right foot, let's stomp. Left foot, let's stomp. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. I love the cha-cha slide. Cha-cha slide. Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe's my jam. Welcome back. So how did it go with our first client? Tell me everything, Liz. It was perfect. Really? That's wonderful. The client was thrilled. I'm super impressed with how professionally Liz handled it all. 
That's so great. The more happy the clients we have, the more our business will grow. I think the sky's the limit, and I'm so glad you've joined the team. And thanks for your help, Nico. Our newcomer is in great hands with you. Just doing my job, but thank you so much for noticing. Uh, to do. All right, I should I should head back to the pier now. I'm really excited to get started with our next client. Hope they're ready for more, Liz. I hope you're ready for more, Liz. Oh, there's one last thing. Here, this is for you, Liz. You don't think you'd be working for free, did you? Here's what you've earned so far. 6,000 pokey. Not bells. Oh, gosh, that's another important detail I should have mentioned. In this region of islands, we use pokey instead of bells for our everyday currency. You won't be able to spend pokey back home on Doggoland, nor can you spend bells here. We may or not have a lot of si for sale here right now, but I'm sure you'll find a few things you like. Woo! Anyway, thanks again for all your hard work. Come see me when you're ready for another job. <laughs> Stupid thing keeps falling. I'm gonna have to take it down. But that's future Liz problems. Woo, I can buy this. in the soda. Actually, the soda would be nice in the kitchen, like, once I get countertops. There we go. Okay. Now let's get more work. Hey there, do you need anything, Liz? I'm ready to work. Okay, then please change into your uniform. I wish changing with getting dressed was this easy in real life, you know? I think you got a handle on the vacation home design works. Now your next lesson is sales. I'd like you to go out there and promote our vacation homes. Last time the client came to our office, but the truth of it is, you can't depend on walk-ins. Luckily, we've got really talented staff that includes you. And the talent I want to develop is sales. And so, I want you to chat with the vacationers on the island and offer the service to them. You'll do great. It's not that hard. Folks will buy anything if you convince them they need it. Okay, Nook. <laughs> Trust in yourself and go with the flow. You'll be making deals in no time. Good luck out there. I think we know how uh, Tom Nook sold us on houses. So I wonder, she must have trained under Tom Nook, right? Right? Or did they go together? Hey there, hey, there you are. You're starting on your next job, yeah? Well, Nico's here to help. Nobody trusts the Nook. I mean, look at this face. This is not a face you can trust. The dead eyes. Visitors hang out on the beach over there. And who can blame them? So they've come all this way. They're soaking up the vibes. They must be thinking vacation home, right? All you have to do is look in their eyes, and it's almost like you can read their minds. Yep. Uh, yep, the ones who are dreaming of living in paradise have it written all over their face. Well, when you're ready to make your pitch, all you need to do is try talking to him. Good luck. Alright. So we've got this bird here that wants an exclusive club that only plays their playlist. Uh, a ram. I want to have a home that's nice and calm and I can relax with my coffee. Anybody up this way? This way. We have a moose. I just want my nose to be hugged by the smell of the trees. <laughs> okay, buddy. Alright, so those are our three options. Who do we want? I mean, we want the moose that wants to have a lot of trees, the guy that wants a club, or the person who wants coffee. First one, uh, first comet gets that, uh, gets that island. Uh, 
crafty clover trees. Coffee? Okay, Dew. I didn't know Dew was in this stream. <laughs> Alright, coffee it is. Willow, what can I do for you, Bo Peep? <laughs> ah, you build vacation homes, do you? Consider me intrigued. Owning a fabulous vacation home would be quite the status symbol. Do I have that kind of status? Let's chat! Oh, that's simply wonderful, that. Now then, what are we waiting for? I have a lot of ideas. I'm so excited to discuss the details of our home with you, Bo Peep. My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. A uh, home for a coffee lover. So espresso, a little coffee table, and a cup of coffee. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. Alright, now let's decide on the location for your vacation home. Have you given it any thought? Hmm, a location. I'm not familiar with the area at all. Why don't you suggest one for me, Bo Peep? Well then, we will prepare a location that is simply perfect for what you're looking for. You can check out the available plots on the map list. Just choose a location you'd like to recommend and let the client know. Alright. So, we have a little island. Uh, we have a cherry blossom forest deserted place. We have a tiered house. Another tiered house. We have desert. I don't feel like desert would be great. What about like maybe like a winterscape? We've got one that's surrounded by water. We've got this one that's cute. That one. That one. Kind of like that. And then like ultimate frigid. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe this one. Summer cold, they can enjoy their hot cup of coffee. Select this one. Oh my, isn't that gorgeous? It's settled. That is the place for me. Alright, for the next step in the process, you'll need to head to the site. Would you mind accompanying the client there now, Liz? I know you're going to knock it out of the park. Quindolini Lubu. Seeing it in person like this, it's every bit as nice as the photo. I adore it, Bo Peep. So, you found a good location. That's great, Liz. I'll be waiting here till you're done. If things go sour, come talk to me for any advice anytime. You got this. Coffee's too bitter for me. Oh, if you want to set up the yard as well, just press the down uh, down button on the D-pad to enter decorating mode. Try it out whenever you want to propose a yard design. I'm on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it from here. Bo peep. Right. Let's go inside. Alright, so this is their furniture. Alright. So I definitely want to do like a kitchen area over here. Let us go. Okay, yeah, those are the required items. Oh yeah, there we go. Coffee grinder. An espresso maker. I kind of like this. It gives off like that, like dark, moody, uh, coffee house vibe. That's a little too dark, I think. Mm. 
Am I not allowed to switch back to the flooring that I had before? Alright, so. <laughs> I think I'll go with this because it has a bit of yellows in it and it goes and it can pull from the yellows that are in the wallpaper. That looks like a doily. And it kind of blends in. again. Okay, that looks centered. Okay, so I still need kitchen stuff. Oh wait. Do do do. Do we not have like any kitchen cabinets? Okay, so there's a kitchen island. But there's no kitchen cabinets. Why they? Uh -oh. Okay, let's go and try and rearrange things. I'm thinking we can do something like that and have that at the center. That way they can have access to the back side. Um, coffee cups would just go on this little table thing, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, yep, that's the correct position for that. Um, let me see. There was, um... Oh, nope, not what I wanted to do. There was a console table. What's that? An antique table? Where we can put this. What, you don't like going sideways? the crack side. So you put that there. And then... Thank you, thank you. Alright, take care, Zara. Have a good one. Right, I gotta move that before I... Let's put this in front of the window so they can have a nice view while they drink their coffee. chairs so then that way they can have a guest and then we should give them some bedroom furniture because I'm sure they'd want to sleep well you get a big bed mm -hmm. okay let's see how the bed fits first I don't know, it's their vacation home. Maybe they have friends. I know friends is a foreign concept, but they could have friends. Uh, okay, so I can't change the sheet color. Never mind. I, I like the color as is. Alright, and then let's get the wardrobe. Holy big wardrobe! Explain friends to somebody who doesn't have any. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Oh, yes, let's add a plant in the corner. We'll do this. That looks cool. Gotta have some pants. I know, right? Okay, we'll hang that up on the wall. Oh, that didn't go up on the wall. Um. There we go. Wall planter, wall planter. Well, you know what? I'll do. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll do six of those. <gasps> Antique phone. That's really cool. We'll put this light in. Okay. So let me. Back to a wall. So. Oh. oh, that's not B. So we'll do. Some nice, like, old ivy kind of feels. Oh, wait, I still need two more. Huh? Oh, well, actually, I'm not gonna really fit on that side because of the door and the furniture. Okay, yep, that actually worked out well. Alright, and then the phone. We could put the phone here so they can talk on the phone while they're drinking their coffee. It's coming together. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else is there? Oh yeah, I never put their photo up. <sighs> photo. Okay, let's see what other... We could do the wreath above the door. Yeah, I think we'll do the wreath. And then... Put this... There. Center the wreath above the door. Alright, so this is the inside. It's time to now decorate the outside. <laughs> yeah, it's what I like. It's like Sims, but you also kind of have a little bit of a storyline. I haven't played Sims in so long. Maybe someday I'll try Sims again. Designing an outdoor space. Uh... Enter the fence building mode with the plus button. Change time and weather. Change the season. Place furniture. Okay. Redesigning infrastructure. You can change the look of homes and bridges and inclines by placing the cursor. Okay. So yeah, let's change the look of your house. None of these kind of like scream like coffee house. Mm. I kind of want to leave it that one. Okay, let's change the roof color. Not that we can see it much. Ooh, the siding. There we go. We can do some nice. Ooh. Kind of like that. Oh, or we could do. There we go. Okay, let's change this roof to match more of that feel. We could do... Um, I know. Well, I could get rid of the snow, technically, but do I really want to? Door. Let's 
do it. I wish the green was like a little bit darker. I like that. Oh, but this that kind of has that elegance. Oh. Ooh, I think it's this one. Oh no, I don't like covering the door. Where's the welcome sign? I don't want that on the door either. Okay. So now, outdoor. Oh, yeah. Let's do a fence. It was the plus button to do a fence. And then X. Let's do this and let's see what the variations are. Excuse me. Hmm. Do we want to do a green or do we want to do the black or like dark brown? I feel like green would be nice since it's like s since it's winter. I'm figuring it out, everybody. I got it. I can do it. Okay. Oh, duh. That's water in that shadow. Uh, then. Oh, no. Whoops. Because I don't want to get take away access to the water. Okay. Oh. So they should definitely... Bill isn't invited to my coffee shop. <laughs> oh, Bill. I'm sure Panda will invite him to his own. <laughs> so let's set up another table. Well, actually, maybe... Let's do another one of these instead. And then we'll do two more chairs out here. Something like over here, maybe. And then, ooh, my foot's falling asleep. Let's see what we have for trees. I'll do some of those. <laughs> we can add weeds. Do 
Do do do. Oh my god, we can add just clumps of weeds too. That's so rude. Plain cupcake. I'll put cookies outside. So let's see. So that tree's there. Put bush there. Bush there. Okay, it has to be there. I see how it is. Oh. back to the trees. Let's see, there should be flowers. Mm -hmm. Let's do the wind flowers. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, whoops. It's not wind flowers, is it? Oh, there's also orange. So beautiful. Let me see. I like this for now. Um, as we unlock more things and everything, we can come back and eventually redecorate. Uh, same with Eloise. Eventually we'll go and redecorate the outside of hers. It's ready. You did it. Thank you. You've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home. I could not be happier, Bo Peep. Alright, well, they do this cutscene. I'm going to run back to use the restroom. So, enjoy the happy happenings of our little sheep friend.
Alright, sorry about that. I'm back. Oh yes, photographs. You should take the opportunity to snap a few photos of this lovely vacation home. Okay. Oh good, you have a camera app on the Nook phone of yours. Yes, use that to take your photos. Speaking of cameras, we have a design portfolio with photos of the properties we've handled. Would it be okay if we showed yours in there? Of course, darling. You may use them however you see fit, Bo Peep. Great, thanks so much. Okay then, go get some amazing pictures, Liz. When you get a shot that screams that's the one, close the camera app and for a sec and show the client. Be careful not to accidentally hit the shutter again and overwrite your picture, though. Okay, I'm heading back outside. You got this. Good luck with your photographs. If you take a good one, please let me know, Bo Peep. Okay. Hold on, what next? I can do it. You can press that. Okay. So let me... Right. Oh, perfect! That's exactly where I wanted you, so... Um. Oops. I want... Wait. Was I not paying attention to how you opened the camera? From here you can change the outfits. Okay. Close. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Um, lighting. So oh yeah, duh. I just clicked on that. Okay. Can I remove myself from the picture? No. Um, actually, hold on one second. Let me... No, no, no! Get your butt back in that chair! Ugh! Okay, hold on. Here, I'll put you in this... Oh, come on! You can sit in the chair. There you go. Is it not? Oh, it's not that camera. Duh. Yeah, why am I not pulling up my camera on my phone? Ah, no. Uh. Okay. I don't know. Let's see if that worked. Really, this vacation home is quite wonderful. I simply cannot wait to spend time in it, Bo Peep. Okay, why... What am I supposed to do to take the picture? Oh, Jesus. 
No! Uh, get back in your seat, lady. I know I'm taking forever to figure it out, but lady, move. <laughs> Stay in your seat. Okay. Camera. There we go. Huzzah! Okay, cool. We took the picture. How did it go? Did you get your photograph? Do you think it's a good one? I'm sure you do, dear. I sure did. Oh my, that's so good. Now there's a photograph that I wouldn't be too embarrassed to show the others. Liz, thank you for everything today. And keep up the good work out there, Bo Peep. Maybe I should just name this episode. Watch the struggle with simple directions. Great. The client was real pleased with the results. So that's another job well done. Way to go, Liz. Woohoo, more money. Show Lodi that photo, a photo you took. Is that the vacation home you just worked on? Wow, it looks great. Oh, how wonderful. You know, I've been using it out to organize information on all the properties we've worked on. Adding photos will make it easier to see what sort of design we used for a given vacation home at a glance. Let's test it out now. Can you pull out that phone so I can send you the app? There you go! You can check in on the vacation homes you've worked on at any time with the Happy Home Network app. Now then, can I get that photo you took? I'll add it right now. Looks like it worked, and I think the design looks great. I think we'll use the photos in the app to advertise Paradise Planning's design portfolio. So you should be proactive about adding photos when you work for future vacation homes, alright? Thanks for your help. Oh, do you want to call it a day or do you want to keep working a bit longer? Uh, let's keep working. Okay, so you want to keep going? Since you took such a good photo for our design portfolio of the last job, I'd like you to take another one. Would you mind going back to Eloise's home and getting a good shot? After all, we had to record the very first home we built and designed by Paradise Plan, don't we? While we're there, please ask us if there are any problems with the home that comes up and how we can fix them. We want to keep our clients happy. Can I buy right now or no? Oh yeah, we'll buy it. And we'll buy this. Bye. There, you need a ride, tell Luis, right? Lottie caught me up. Shall we go right now? Let's go. Hey, leave it to me. Hey, you're probably gonna be visiting our clients' vacation some more and more, right? Anytime you want, you come see me, alright? I'll get you there right away on the Monkey Boat Express. But, hmm. Yeah, actually, it might be even easier if you tell me using the Happy Home Network. Mind trying it out? Choose Eloise's place and hit visit. It's, as, it's that easy, I promise. Lazy monkey. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta fix up her house now. Welcome, Lottie told me to expect you too. I was thrilled when she said you'd be coming by. I wanted so much to thank you again. Once I actually spent time here, I realized just how wonderful it really is. Thank you, Liz. You're so welcome. 
hear that, Liz? That, there is a fan of your work. Now, if you have any problems at all, please don't hesitate to check in with us at the office. If you want to redecorate or move, we are happy to help. Certainly. If and when I need a hand, I'll definitely reach out. Yeah, he is, yeah. But I must say, if you have any good ideas about remodeling or moving, please do tell me. By the by, you two came to take pictures, yes? And take as many as you like and all the time you need, too. Okay. I have all the time in the world, so just Shutterbug to your heart's content, too. I don't mind at all. I've done my share of modeling, you know. The camera and I get along just fine. And feel free to direct me, too, if you want me to stand in a certain spot or the like, just let me know. Thank you. Alright, get some great pics. Okay. Next. Close. Okay. Oh, no. Let's move her. Go in your chair. There you go. And then me. See a camera. photo. Woo. Okay. Perfect, that's a wrap. Oh, that was a pleasure. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome to. Oh, he's already driving me back before I could work on the outside. It's so rude. I'll get back there eventually. Huh? Welcome back! I saw the photo you just took. It's already uploaded to the Happy Home Network app. It gave me a good sense for what you think is important to highlight in a vacation home. You did such a good job. By the way, how do things go with the client? Any issues to report? None at all. That's great to hear. Still, from now on, it might be a good idea to add occasional client visits into your routine. Happy customers are repeat customers, after all. I'm always down at the pier, so hit me up when you need a boat ride. Just say, I want to visit home. Thank you, Nico. You're always so reliable. I don't know what we'd do without you. Oh, I should pay you for this job, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. Based on your services this time, you've earned 2,000 Pokey. It's fair, but... <laughs> Thanks for taking such a wonderful photo. I appreciate your help. Oh, uh, we'll do one more house. Why not? Okay, it's always a good idea to chat with folks who are visiting our island and talk up the business. This is such a pain. Good luck! What is that? What did you guys do? They were wrestling under here earlier, and it looks like they pulled out, like, everything. Jeez Louise. Or not pulled out everything, but they loosened all of my charges and whatnot. Okay. Let's see what we got. So we got the bird. Oh, I remember you. I had you before. Karaoke night. Uh, wouldn't a home be filled with yummy appies be totes cool? I like apples. And then you're from earlier. What do you want? Oh! Okay, you want antiques. I'm assuming, yeah, there's somebody. Alright, do we want antiques, trees, a club, or karaoke, or apples? Apples, karaoke, club, trees, or antiques. Oh yes, the cord shadow. Oh yes. Okay. 
karaoke so you and do finally have that competition. All right. Paula, you. I don't think I know you. So you're. So what's the deal? Wait, you're the one from Paradise Planning. You're rad. And vacation homes are rad. So could you work a bit of Paradise ma Planning magic for me? Sure. I knew you'd have my back. I'm ready to rock, Yolalehi. All right, here goes. I know this is kind of out there, but here's what I'm thinking for my vacation home. All night karaoke club. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now the next step is to choose an island for the client. I feel like this is just be... Oh, we should probably put them on a single island by themselves because... Karaoke night's probably gonna be loud, right? So we could do this island. We could do this island. I kind of like the idea of this island just because like the walls are like buffer sound or like sound buffers. We could put it on rocks. Party island. Yeah, I think let's do this one. Wow, that spot's awesome. This is gonna rule, Yodale. Now, Paula, we found an excellent location for you, but you need to see it for yourself before we begin. Please, please lead Paula to the site, and best of luck. So, do all these vacationers have boats, or do they have to call Nico every time they want to leave their island or their vacation home? Like, how rich are these uh, rich people? All right, I'll leave it all in your hands, Liz, because obviously they're affording vacation homes, so they gotta be somewhat rich. Okay, let's start with the outside. Let us start with coconut trees. Just some hydrangea. We got a blue hydrangea. Nice, yeah. This is a party house, so let's take a look at our options. I feel like we should give her a big house, because I feel like somebody that's going to be partying is going to want a big house, right? Let's do this. We could do... let's see what other roof options they have. No, I think let's do this. Do pink. No, that's some good party house siding. There we go. This looks fancy, fancy. Let's do a solid door because in that way we can do a welcome sign. Because she is definitely going to be welcoming people to her party island. Now let's see, do we have any cool... Oh, massage chair. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Got a wear open sign. Stage lights. Let's a couple of those. PA speakers. Floor monitor? I don't know. Let's add an outdoor trash can. Okay. So. Let's 
put this like right over here. And then my thoughts are we'll put this facing the house like. And give the house that nice kind of spotlight. Change the time of day. Have more of an evening look. Yeah. So you can really enjoy the outdoor lighting and everything. Actually, I'll put the trash can by here. Put one speaker over here, and then we'll put like one over here. Really hit you with those sounds. Okay, I think I like the outside. Yeah, this looks nice, I think. You got a place where you can throw your trash out as you're entering and leaving. Yeah, I think good. Let us enter. We have for wallpaper options. Okay, no, that feels like a fast food restaurant. No, we don't want circus. Eh. Psychedelic. Okay, I like the geometry. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, really customized stuff here. Okay. Oh, so, I kind of, do they have anything that's like a stage? Doesn't look like it. What is this? Bathroom stall? Oh, I could have put the bathroom stall outside. Paper chain, ceiling garland. Oh, a disco ball. Okay, cool. I get the feeling it seems like she's trying to go for like a... I wasn't even in decorating mode. <laughs> this way I think. Face the table. And then we can have the monitor like right here. So that way they can see while they're singing. Okay, let's go back to adding more furniture. Hi, how's it going, our eminence? How are you today on this lovely Monday? That's good, I'm glad to hear. Small cafe table, dinner table, large cafe table. I'm gonna have to push that back somewhat. Oh, we can definitely have karaoke. Okay. So let me move this. Oh, thank you for the follow! Thank you, thank you!
What do I do off stream? Uh, take care of a bunch of dogs. <laughs> I have three dogs, so they are my priority. Although today is a grocery shopping day, so. But now, um, I have a small Etsy business where currently it's all Pokemon uh, themed stuff, but I do plan on expanding to other cozy game stuff. <laughs> Shadow is already uh, politicking over here. <laughs> some food. She's gonna be partying all the time. I don't think she needs a bed. We'll give her a massage chair though. And you know what? We'll put a water cooler because you gotta keep hydrated, my friends. Okay, so massage chair. Water cooler over here. But yeah, if you ever want to check out my Etsy store, the link should be down in the description below. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it should be down in the description below. But yeah, fun stuff all the time. What does she have for wall decorations? Okay, got this. Oh, an exit sign should probably have. Let's add a phone in case of emergencies. Sorry about that. I didn't want to blow out anybody's eardrums when I sneezed. Okay. We'll put this over here behind the singer. I'm gonna raise this up just a tad. Then we'll drop the phone to here. I think that's good. Uh, I've been streaming. This is my second week. Um, my official start was not yesterday, but the previous Sunday, but I spent streaming a few days before then. So about, not quite two weeks yet. Alright, I think I'm liking the looks of this, yeah? We can fit right here, perfect, perfect. Yep. Oh, she doesn't fit there. Maybe. And then. Um, ZR. Let us shift the cameras a little. 
little bit. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, I am brand spanking new. <laughs> I'm still working out a lot of kinks and everything. Oh, trying to... Oh, getting streaming all set. Oh, I could have had the TV on this whole time. A oh, humbug. Oh, 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 is it finished? Is it done yet, Yodelé? It's ready. You're a rock star, like a sold-out, instantly jam-packed stadium rock star. Let's check it out. We got a little video. Nice, nice. What do you stream? I don't like karaoke club. Ah, uh, so you do a lot of variety gaming? No, we still gotta get on do about doing karaoke day. Not that anybody wants to hear this voice. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Vacation home life is gonna be sweet. So, got any plans after this? Uh, I'll be taking off soon. Oh, good. Careful getting back. And the hangout invitation is always there, Yodelé. So, I did take a picture. I'm assuming that'll count, right? Or did I take it too prematurely? We're bad. Uh huh? Uh? Whoa, you did it again. It's all shiny now. Wordle can make anything shiny by polish it. Anything. I swear, it's like magic. Oh my god, I forgot about <laughs> this feature. Oh, nice. Happy early birthday. Got any fun plans for your birthday? I always put cleaning at the bottom of my to-do list when I'm bit when I get busy, so I'm thankful for your help. Yeah, thanks, Wardle. Now then, thanks for another job well done, Liz. How do I know it went well? Because you've got the face of a winner. Just look at you, winner all over. Hey, still, birthday is a good excuse to take a time to yourself and just relax. Okay, do you want to call it a day? Uh, I'm finished. Alright, take it easy and rest up. Oh, nice! Like, um, create animated videos, or... Alright, what should I do? Put something away. What was that called? Scaffola? Sh and what's in here? Okay, nothing's in there. Cool, cool. seen him before on like my other personal playthroughs but don't remember Loki I feel like he won like a gangster kind of room or something or like a mob boss kind of room but I'm not sure if I'm misremembering or like an executive boss room or something oh. hey what's up nothing Actually, you know what? Let's go and take like five minutes to give Eloise an out so outdoor. I want to visit a home. Okay, then I'm your guy. Where do you want to go? Okay. Oh, 
Oh, good. It did count that as a picture. Let's go to the visit Eloise. No, I I don't know if I'd say it's lazy, but I I totally get what you mean. Like, I can't remember the last time I spent working on writing my book and everything. Oh, am I not allowed to edit? Oh, okay, I'm not allowed to edit off the clock. So rude. Let's go. What's up? I want to go back. Hi Zoe, are you tired? Are you a tired girl? I just feel like I never have enough time in the day to do anything. Like, I've only just started getting back into reading, and my goal this year is just to read one book a month. <laughs> so, I, and life is just really busy. Oh, dude just logged into Pokemon Scarlet. Its story involves a world which itself- Oh! That's interesting! That sounds like it could be a good time. Let's go back over. That's right! Roger that, let's fly. And she's falling off her dog bed. <laughs> oh, my sweet summer child. <gasps> You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah, she's a tired girl. But I still can't even leave her out for the couple minutes I'll be gone to go to Costco because she will destroy something, eat something, do something she's not supposed to do. No matter how many times I've trusted her, I'm like, yeah, she's tired. It'll be fine. It always comes back to bite me in the butt. Okay. Let's actually do some decorating of our own house. However, in the idea of reincarnation thing of reincarnation things take a new form, but then they get it. Okay. Interesting. I always change the lights. Right. This is gonna leave. That can stay, that can stay, that can stay. Do I have any like living room furniture? Oh yeah, I have this. I never put that out. Maybe we can put a pump. Bathroom stuff can stay for the bathroom area. Oh, it was that plan I bought. Okay. Hamster can be in here. I can't believe I haven't had any wallpaper yet. Oh, that's interesting. That sounds like a fun time. So I'm going to move my workshop next to the... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move... Keep my workshop here, but I'm going to move my vacuum cleaner to the other side of the workshop. I was like, what is that sound? It's the little hamster and his wheel. We'll move this back here. Put that away. Put that away. No problem. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow, and I hope you have a great day. I look forward to catching one of your streams in the future, hopefully. Take care. And if I don't talk to you before your birthday, I hope you have a happy birthday. Alright, so... This is okay for now. I'll accept this. So this will be the kitchen. So let us 
Go decorate for a kitchen. What do I have for kitchen stuff? Okay. I'll have a table. A stove. A fridge. Because for some reason the game keeps giving me pink furniture. Soup kettle. That. Is this an unfinished puzzle? Board game. Okay. So I'll put the fridge over in this corner. I Oh, that's kind of cool. You can put the kettle on the stove. Okay. I like that. Okay. I'm going to leave some room between that. Then we'll put that. See, I don't have much yet for the kitchen. But eventually. And then we can do a bathroom on the opposite side. Yeah, it's very bare bones right now. Um, we've been progressing very. We've been we've been progressing faster uh, than we can buy stuff. Da <laughs> da. Um, okay, now we go to storage. This will be our bathroom. So we've got the toilet, we've got a bathroom sink and vanity. We can also like make a partial laundry room. It's kind of how my downstairs is set up actually. Um, we have a bathroom with a laundry room attached. Oh yeah, and laundry is something else I have to do today too. Um, I was in the middle of... Or I had switched the load over to dryer already. So the dryer is probably done soon. So that will be something I can do later too. It just never stops. Can't stop, won't stop. Put... Toilet over here. And then we have the ironing board. Here, we're going to move the ironing board so we can, like, you know, look out the window while we iron. So we'll put this over here for now. And then move to the ceiling. And then we'll move this over here by the vanity. Cool. Ooh. All right, so I think I'm going to call it here. It's a little bit on the early side, but I still have uh, some errands to do. I thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's been a lovely time. And I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday and start of Tuesday if you're that much further in the world. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, feel free to give this a like and a follow. And if you want to hang out with us on Twitch, uh, there's a link to that my Twitch channel down below. There's also a link to my Discord and a link to my Etsy shop. So I hope you all have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye!